The key feature, however, is that this is the smelly phone, by which I mean its air quality monitor can detect noxious, unpleasant, possibly harmful in the long term smells in confined spaces. Things like super glue or paint thinner. So, Pete, let's give this a go. So, let's try it with the super glue. Take off the lid, put it near it. Oh, it's gone way up now. And there it is. It's detected the super glue. So, Pete, what is the market for this? Why are you convinced that people want a phone that can smell? So, what the phone's doing is it's monitoring the levels of volatile organic compounds in the atmosphere. So, if you think about a carpenter who's perhaps working in a workshop without any ventilation, he could be using paints, glues, uh, other solvents, and what the phone's going to be doing is monitoring the air every 30 seconds, and when the air quality reaches an unhealthy level, it will, it will alert the user. We've got the iPhone 10, we've probably got the Samsung Galaxy S9. Uh, is there a niche for this little phone? We're working in an industry where there's billions of phones sold. We're focusing on delivering products that fit for purpose. All of those phones that you mentioned, you only have to walk out of here, you'll see most of them with a broken screen. When we're designing our products, we drop them 26 times onto, onto concrete from 1.8 meters. So again, it's about focusing on um, the features and making a product fit for purpose for those kind of users. We're seeing British phone makers disappear almost by the week right now. Uh, are you still gonna be around in a few years time? I think we're the only guys around at the moment, but we're going from strength to strength. You know, the business is growing very, very quickly. And I think, again, that comes back to the fact that we focus so heavily on understanding our customers and designing products that are right for them.